Hello, uh, survivors of the apocalypse and veterans of Atom RPG. Welcome back to Trudograd and playing hardball. We have, oh, another nice and interesting uh, picture there. There was even a wind turbine up there. So many thanks for your comments. Um, so there is a recommendation to talk to Epiphanes again. Was that was TikTok? To follow up on a quest. Like wasn't that? I oh, yeah, there. Well, and I'm still. I personally, I'm still shocked that this, the girl here, Irka, that she would just you know, hang out with us and discuss things with us, using up a condom. In the process, and then just just like that. Oh yeah, well. I'm going to start a serious relationship with this other guy that I just like half an hour before I found him not so interesting but well I we don't have to understand that right even with an intellect of 11 yeah <laughs> but well do tell what you think please feel free in the comment section as you know The black-haired bruiser who asked us to get rid of his annoying competitor greets us with a half-hearted nod. He seems much more relaxed than the first time we met. Uh, I don't know what you got that weirdo to move on, but thanks, man. Here's your reward. 300 rubles. Don't spend it all on the horse. Well, I guess like you are thinking about yourself there and then projecting your way of spending money on us, huh? because we would never pay money for that that's always a bad investment well or maybe maybe most of the time huh? well we we do remember that there was a lady like a mutated lady who gave a uh, hexogen our old buddy and father <laughs> not well, let's let's call him our social father uh, A very interesting ability, right? So, speechcraft. If it wasn't for my negotiation skills, he would have never left you alone. How's about... How about you... What? How's about... There is something missing here. How's about you fatten... It's also... It's better like... How about you fatten the pot a little, eh? Or if you consider the state of Trudograd's economy and your own business growth these past few cycles, you'll see that a more generous reward is in order. I don't know. I prefer to go with the speech craft. Also, we have a higher level here, so... Ah, yeah. That gave something. <clears throat> I guess I could spare an extra 150. Now, that's what we are talking about, right? We take the money. Not too quickly, though. Here you go. You earned it. Yeah. Can you ask... Can, I, can you answer a few questions now? Yeah, we can talk. So, and what do you do exactly on the console that rents out rooms in this ruin, but my main business is scrap metal repurposing. Ah, yeah. Know any good gossip? Remember the massive cloth shortage two years ago? The same reli reliable sources are predicting huge price increases for pig iron next year. Stock up now, triple your money later. Well, you seem to be a rather effective capitalist. So, maybe we are taking an example there. So, and that looks pretty good. So, we talked with everybody here, I think. Oh, like what this guy, right? No, the dark haired. Oh, yeah, no. But he sort of, he looks familiar for some reason. Hmm. The dark haired, dark eyed man sighs sorrowfully and turns to the jolly woman who keeps him company in his makeshift dwelling. See, just, so, just like I told you, first that uneducated savage moves in next door. Now strangers are roaming around in our living space. What's going to happen tomorrow if we live to see tomorrow, that is? The woman rolls her eyes and the man sighs again before turning back to us. My wife doesn't seem to think you're a threat. Well, out with it. I want her to hear it for herself. What did our terrible neighbor ask you to do to us? Well... That's not why I'm here. There used to be a huge weapons factory nearby. Do you know what happened to it? I don't know anything about that. Me and Natalia, we used to live at the other end of the city in a real apartment. Not even a rumor of what happened to this factory ever reached us there. 
In the first years after the war, even larger factories would disappear overnight. Once they realized there was no more central government to keep them in line, everything of value was sold, repurposed or scrapped by the authorities. Only the oldest of old-timers would remember the fate of this place. Aha, uh -huh. the oldest of old-timers, huh? Well, maybe we'll find somewhere like that. Gotcha. Care to talk about something else? That's a bummer. No. Okay, okay, as you wish. Anything else? Yeah, so last time we spoke you mentioned some unhappiness connected with your neighbor. Care to elaborate? You really don't know the guy. He calls himself Ruslan. Don't know if that's his real name. Listen, maybe you can help us and not just me and my wife. By us, I mean every honest, humble soul in this mighty city. Now I feel that he's a bit suspicious, but well... Well... You know, I like to help people, but usually it's not for free, it depends. So what do I get for helping you? Can you not interrupt me about details? While well, I'm trying to describe our situation here. Sorry, I don't have a lot of experience talking to you uh, mercenary types. There will be a reward, I assure you, but first please listen to my story. Well, I sure hope it's not just a can of milk or something. You see, Ruslan, our new neighbor, moved into the other apartment in this building recently. He's a foreigner. A northern foreigner, to be precise. Already sounds suspicious, am I right? Well, shocking. How can you sleep at night with that monster right around the corner, right? Come on, enough with the negative stereotypes. <laughs> yeah, I mean, like, yeah. Shocking, right? It's shocking. How can you sleep at night? Honestly, I do not know, but wait, it gets worse. Being a northerner is not his only sin. Every night this golden-maned, foul-mouthed hooligan sneaks out into the streets. And as my recent investigation has shown, he heads over to a stack of old cable reels and hides something there. Most probably notes. Aha, uh -huh. old cable reels? What notes, you might ask? The only sensible answer is that they are secret instructions on how best to conquer the scrap quarter during a full or northern invasion. What else could they be? These reports are then delivered to their tribal spymaster, who's busily plotting the terrible tortures they'll apply to us honest locals when their cursed legions conquer Trudograd. But without proof, our local policemen will not lift a finger, and I'm too scared to search out the truth on my own, especially at night. I tried looking during the, day, during the day, but his secret cache had already been retrieved by his handler, which must happen around daybreak. Please, young man, for my sake and for the sake of this great city, investigate this matter fully. In return, I will gift you with the bounty of expired medications, which I cannot use myself because of the likely health risks. Deal? Well, expired medications? Well, all right. I can't promise anything, but I'll look into the matter. If I, have to f if I happen to have some time to kill it, no. No, 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 solve the situation, no, no, no. I'm going to go check it out right now, bye. All right, so. Expired medication, huh? So, well, Natalia, we already spoke with her, right? The dark-haired woman, yep. She smiles a friendly smile spawning a spider web of wrinkles beneath her large dark eyes well at least that sounds pretty sympathetic so um can we talk about something i think actually now maybe later we we already talked about everything so let's interrogate ruslan so ruslan a plump young man of indeterminate age smiles at us as we come closer seems like our charisma has won over this member of the city bottom at first sight well, you know, I wanted to ask you a few questions. Okay, uh, well, later. Talk about something else. So, your name's Ruslan, correct? Well, I, th I feel that this would be not so smart. Like to tell him that the neighbor has some complaints. We should actually spy on him, but well, let's explore this one. What again? When uh, what is when is that old fucking uh, gonna give me a break? I don't listen to the radio loud. I stopped smoking in the room. What else can I do for him? Well, he doesn't like your nighttime walks. Well, but actually, lots of stuff. I'd break my tongue if I tried to name them all. Don't listen to that weirdo. I bet that old nut is suspicious of every single person in the ruins, including you. Well. The man definitely seems prejudiced. 
quit hollering and the question of who's in the wrong still needs to be investigated. <laughs> Possibly, but he also told me you keep a secret little stash. Yeah, that would not be very smart, right? But we could actually go there. Like, we could follow him. Like, if he goes, we could follow him and then... Uh, well... Maybe even find the other person. Also, like, his eyes are a little bit different, right? Well... So, quit hollering. The question of who's in the wrong still needs to be investigated. Gosh darn it! Why is everyone always picking on us northerners? Is it because we are simple folk or because we are such easy prey? We haven't done anything to you. Well, there, well that's what I'm trying to figure out. Okay, li I listened to your side of the argument. Okay, well... So, cable rolls. There. There are some. Someone singing there. I'm not going to sing again. Because no one said, oh yeah, this one here or what? Yeah, I think we, we need to... Uh, we need to find... Um, or we need to wait for the night. So what time is it? It is... 14.33. Okay, well, I guess we are actually done in this area. Yeah. That's there. Oh, I find that very convenient here, by the way. Uh, no, I didn't want to do that. But well, then let's go there. So there was nothing up here, right? Can I actually go there? Anything here? We can also not go down there, I guess, right now. There's a burn barrel. We warm our hands by the fire, yeah. Aha! Empty tin. Like we are there. Okay, good. And there's something here. Oh! A shovel! An ancient tool dating back to Neolithic times. The shovel is still useful in the post-apocalypse. That's nice. Now we can dig up stuff. Oh, and I see some treasure chests of the wasteland. Oh, and we've got a brick. So now we can make a sheaf for, the, for that lady. Um, and we have we are at 73 kilograms more like that I think we could actually use a rope right let's go to the fire and then let's go through our stuff oh we are so hungry by the way well we could eat the apple do we have toxicity no we don't so let's rather keep it oh well Let's eat some biscuits then. There. That's better. Still not very full though. So, I, I'm sorry. And I wanted to look for the crafting. So, the weapon. So we can... Oh, uh, can we actually sharpen the knife? That was possible on the brick, right? No, it wasn't. Okay. Well, then we can make a sheaf. To deal with. Or oh, some nails. We can also make a swinchatka. Yeah, well. Oh, we keep the stuff. Um, the weighted glove. Yeah, I guess we can go up to the quality knuckle duster. But what I really want to do is to make a crossbow. And now that we already have the big machine gun, I mean, okay, we should be careful with the ammunition, of course. But I certainly want to make uh, everything. Um, yeah, well. So 
So we have we don't have anything except for our big machine gun and our very good knife. So that's actually all a rather. Oh, by the way, no, sorry. Oh no, the, for that we needed the um, the toolbox, right? Here, this one, the knife knuckle duster. Yeah, the toolbox is missing. I wonder if it would make a difference if we had a sharp knife, a rust knife, or a sharp, uh, uh, a regular one. Yeah. Okay, well. But well, I mean, we need to get going at some point. So let's make once chances very high and yes. What the? We did not get anything. And the quality knife knuckle duster. Is the brick used up then? Um, let me save the game. And by the way, why did we not get anything? So we have tinkering at 150. 5% to learn new recipe while crafting. Experience from crafting is up 25%. I will. I guess it's because it's such a basic thing. So we don't really learn anything new with that. We could rest. But I think we are actually rather using up or use the time to, to do something. So let's make a sheaf. So I feel that the brick is, because we are just sharpening it a little bit on the brick, uh, I guess the brick is not going to be destroyed, right? Yeah, there, good. One sheaf coming up. And let's keep the other stuff, especially the, the electrical tape. Um, but then we can barter a little bit. Uh, yeah, I don't want to make any broken bottles. So let's make the quality knuckle duster. There you go. Also zero experience. Unbelievable. And... Ah, well, we already have the claw knuckle duster, yeah. So the weighted glove. Spiked glove. Oh, it's also rope. Okay, well. Oh, you know, it used up the brick. Oh, crap. Oh, well. Oh, well, it doesn't matter. I thought we would get some experience out of this, but it's fine. So, then we made it. Maybe maybe there will be some form of fist fighting and then we can use it. When we, we don't need to... Uh, when we don't need to... Um, stab anybody is uh, have we been here before no we've been we've not been here before very good the little shacks oh there is someone okay let's close their door because their heat is not getting outside then oh they are making some tea here that's nice okay hello there good man a thin young man fiddles nervously with his thick horn rimmed glasses and after glancing over at a middle-aged woman standing nearby whispers if Mikhail Semyonich sent you, please don't say anything in front of my mama. And, and you know, just tell him I don't want the job. Uh, you mistook me for someone else. I'm just asking around about the inverter factory. Do you know what happened to it? What do you know? I've never met anyone interested in that factory. Why aren't more people curious like you and me? That place was very mysterious, even before the war, you know. So much security, a huge guard regiment, magnetic seals on every door, employee strip searches after shifts. That's what Mama told me anyway. Oh. Did your Mama work there? But after the war, everybody sort of forgot about the place. The equipment was sold or destroyed. No one cared about folk settling in the ruins. If only I knew why. It's such a mystery. Uh-huh. Well, I think we should talk with your Mama then. Maybe that sounded like she worked there or something. Or she knew someone who worked there. Well, who is this Mikhail Semyonich character? Why did he send you? Uh, why did you think he sent me? 
Ah, he's just a guy I know. I passed my truck driving exam using his guts and aced it. He was so impressed, he offered me a full-time position driving in his company. He said, the road she's a calling your Slava. A man who's never tamed the highway has never lived. Well, Slava. I agreed then and there because he was really pushy, but I can't make good on my promise. I skipped the interview and started avoiding him. I thought since a stranger showed up here for no reason, maybe he sent you to find me. I'm glad you don't know him at thou. I hope he's forgotten me. Well, you're just a chicken, huh? Buck, 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 buck. No, why did you miss out? You told me yourself that you were good. Uh, I agree with you there. Being a trucker is a hard and dangerous life. It takes grit. Yes, it takes grit. No, no, come on, do tell. Why did you miss out? You told me yourself that you were good. Well, I kind of was, and I always loved trucks and cars ever since childhood. Being a trucker is, you know, like a dream to me, I guess. Well, it was a dream. Then Mama told me to forget it. She told me I can't do it. Oh. The kid's eyes grow blank and he clenches his fists. I have bad health, you know, and a nervous mindset. I'm unlucky too, just like my father was. That's what she says. How can someone like me survive in the wastes? Oh well, the, you know, like with bad health and a nervous mindset and also being super unlucky, that's indeed a challenge then. But yeah, I mean, seriously, she told you all that? I'm not sure I agree with her parenting style. I mean, especially these days, you know. But yeah, you are not a kid anymore. Why do you listen to everything your mother tells you? Is that all it took? Just a few words to talk you out of pursuing your dream? I do see something coming here. Like if we, if we, like if this guy is really bad at what he does, uh, or like he's, yeah, well, I mean, he is bad at what he does if he's not suited to do, to do the job right, and if he's not suited for the wastes, then I feel that we might even stumble upon his body, upon his corpse or something, and that we should actually not encouraged then but yeah let's inquire a little bit seriously she told you all that i'm not sure i agree with her parent uh, no no you're not a kid anymore why do you listen to everything your mother tells you the young man shakes his head as if to chase away bad thoughts mama's a saint she takes care of me she loves me and she she's terrified of losing me she almost had a heart attack the same day i started truck driving cause a few blocks up the road Imagine, imagine me leaving on a week-long run she told it to me straight if i ever leave for that long she will most surely die Oh my goodness, you have that form of mother, huh? <sighs> well, the loving is really a good thing, but that sounds all a little bit toxic there. Tell her you can survive out there? Or what are you gonna do? Live out your day starting at the walls? Staring at the walls of this room because of her overprotective BS? Or she's just making empty threats? What are you, stupid? Oh my goodness. And then we could actually, if he leaves, then we find her body, huh? Well, I totally agree. I can see it now. You take your first step off the front porch and as your foot touches the ground, she falls dead like she was struck by lightning, right? Let her die then. You would be better off without her anyway. No, no, no. We would never say such a thing. So that would be quite psychopathic. So, well, tell her you can survive out there. Yeah, I mean, like, it's all a, a management thing. Like, even if your health is low, you know, you can do some sports and increase it in time. And also, you know, you can take care of your health and uh, also have some special injectors with you. You know, the, those are rather handy and helpful, we've heard. And also, like, with the luck, you know, it's always better to plan ahead properly anyway and not rely on luck or, you know, or anything like the coincidental stuff. Tell her you can survive out there. But I'm not so sure of that myself. Back when I was a kid, I never had a chance to stand up for myself in a fight or even a mild verbal disagreement. Mama was always there to rush in and protect me. She never let me do anything by myself. So even though I'm not afraid of hardship, I honestly don't know whether I can survive it. Uh, well, that doesn't sound so good, you know. She did not prepare you for life, and especially not for the life in the wastelands. But you know, what are you gonna do? Live out your day staring at the walls of this room because of her overprotective BS? 
It's not all bull poo. She makes some good points and what makes you think there's nothing to gain from staying here. I, I might get a desk job somewhere close to home. I can work there where it's safe to save my mom a heartache. Well, we'll have more money that way and maybe I'll meet a girl, start a family. I don't know. Well, uh, sure. I bet she'll drop dead. Yeah, she says, yeah. Well, okay. Now, I mean, like, there, uh, there needs to be some people who do desk jobs as well, right? And like, I mean, like if he has such, uh, if this guy has such strong doubts, then um, then it's the question if if we are encouraging him that that might get him indeed killed. On the other hand, like fl maybe he just needs a little bit of this form of nudging, and then he will be a great trucker. And our new trucker friend, by the way. Um. Yeah. Well. Yeah, sure. I bet she'll drop dead as soon as you walk out the door, right? You know, that kind of sarcasm is not welcome. Her life's been really hard. She raised me alone. My dad was driving a bus between Trudograd and Astrakhan, and one day he didn't come back. Later we found out he had a second family in Bitrutovo village. When I told Mama I was going to become a trucker, it must have hurt her so much. Oh, well. Well, you know, maybe I should have a talk with her. That's for sure, but well, maybe maybe we should. We are not going to say this one here. Like she's, she'll let her die. You'd be better off alone. No. Come on, she's just making empty threats. What are you stupid? Do you know how much time I spent dripping hot medicine into water glass when she was lying in bed, cringing from chest pains? The first time was when I came home late. Then it happened again after I got drunk with some northerners. She's a very sensitive person. She knows I'm weak and unlucky, that's why she is scared for me. Okay, I think I should have a talk with her. The young man pales visibly and shakes his head, but in his gaze we read a completely different reaction. Hope! He wishes we would talk to his mother and make her see the light. Please don't, I beg of you. Talk to her and convince her to let me go. Ahem, I meant to say don't talk to her. Yeah, no way, that's, that's what I meant. Yeah, yeah, we, we, I think we are seeing the bigger picture right now. Huh? I'll talk to her, don't worry, it's gonna go great. Or at least not tragically wrong, possibly. I'm not wasting any more time on you, Mama's boy, out of my way. I won't talk to her f for you, but here's a bit of worldly wise. Move out, try to live on your own for a while. Now, you know, I, th I actually, I feel that it's a good thing uh, to have strong family ties, although this is certainly toxic, but she's traumatized, so we need to address that rather. So, come on, let's talk to her. Oh, thank you so much, but I think you'll be disappointed. Well, we'll see. But I've still got a couple more questions before I do that, actually. You can't win if you don't play. Stay here, I'll be back. No. Questions? How strange. Well, okay, I'd love to chat. So, tell me about yourself. Haven't I told you already? My name is Slava. Me and my mama have lived here for two years already. Uh -huh, and what do you do? Well, sometimes merchants give mama some bookkeeping work and I try to help her out. I'm not too good at it though. I also cook sometimes. I love to read. I really hope to get a desk job somewhere near my home one day. Well, but can you do anything? I mean, okay, he reads, yeah? Yeah, well, well what can you tell me about Trudograd? I don't know what to say about Trudograd. I've never been to any place else. If you trust what the migrants say, it's a great place. If you ask the local elders, they'll tell you it's terrible. Okay, share a couple of rumors with me, why don't you? Well, and how do you like it? No, no answer there, huh? Well, rumors? Have you ever played Bomber Gun? I never touch those cursed cards again. Mama's old co-worker once told her that his neighbor's sister's nephew's teenage friend once met one of the four Bumba Gun Grandmasters. This Grandmaster agreed to play but with one stipulation. His opponent must bet his mother's heart on the outcome. The kid agreed and lost. Well, like I mean, and what happened then? To the heart? But well, come on, let's change the subject partner. As you wish. I've decided to skip talking to you, bye. Need to talk with your mom. So there, well, that's actually pretty cool and interesting. Oh, a doggy picture. No, it's a pillow with the dog. Well, and they've got a, two cabinets. So there's the mama. Oh, middle-aged woman with unkempt blonde hair studies us with apparent amusement. 
I'm sorry, who are you? Why are you strolling around my home like you own the place? I first thought you were that ruffian who tried to make Slava an alcoholic, but apparently not. Well, you know, you don't become an, an, an alcoholic just by good drinking ones, but well. Well, I just want to know what happened to the inverter factory before. You are shocking me so much that I forget about that question all along. I'm trying to maintain a civilized household here, so why would I investigate some ugly lump of iron, dirt and sweat? All I know is that it was disposed of, and rightfully so. Uh-huh. Okay, well. Okay, well. Tell me, who tried to turn your son into an alcoholic? Slava had this so-called friend some time ago, a despicable, conniving little brute, thoroughly bereft of even basic manners, even... You see more pleasant comparison. That's what a degenerate he was. Well, now you are very pleasant. So, and what did they do with Slava exactly? My heart aches, aches when I think about it. They got acquainted at the truck driving lessons and at first they just chatted during rest breaks. But then he brought Slava into his circle of friends. You know, the type drug addicts and women of dubious morals. He suggested Slava drink alcohol with them, play the guitar for them. He must have done something more underhanded to cripple my boy's mental capacity because when I prohibited Slava from talking to that piece of human garbage in his pals, he actually rebelled against me. He raised his voice, demanding I unlock the door so he could leave for an afternoon in town. When I said no, he became hysterical. It took him until morning to return to his calm, passive self. Thank God for that. Well, passive, huh? Well, you know, a heroic deed on your part, but can we change the subject now? No. <clears throat> Seems like Slava's new friends were your average city kids, actually. Despite Slava being a chronically lazy, timid daydreamer, which are not desirable traits, he still deserves better peers than some drugged up punks. Well, I, I don't know how to reply to that, so let's change the subject instead. <laughs> Well, I mean, I would have some ideas what to say, but well, let me persuade you that Slava should work as a truck driver. How can you not understand? The boy just entered a phase in which he believes himself an adult and is looking for responsibility. Believe me, I'm already taking measures to prove how silly this dream is. I sent him to those truck driving courses. That way he learned first and how dangerous and disgusting that profession is. Well, don't you know that your boy isn't a boy anymore? He's a grown man. Also, this is the wasteland, so people need to learn and mature early. And they need to take responsibility so they are prepared for the world we are living in right now. Sheesh! Can you whisper or something? The lad is right here. Self-esteem must be fragile enough as it is. Yeah. <laughs> I heard he had some success on his driving course. He was even offered a job. That's not a phrase, it's his calling in life. Wouldn't your family be better off if Slava also had a job? I get it now, he's mentally retarded, right? Boy, do I feel stupid, as stupid as Slava probably is. Uh, here, come on, let's say here. He had some success, so he was actually deemed good and was offered a job, right? right? Yes, he was allegedly praised at the training school out of pity, probably. Believe me, if this career wasn't guaranteed to lead to Slava's injury, death or disgrace, I would have let him pursue it long ago. Well, you know, let me share my extensive knowledge of modern hauling trucks to prove that the rig your son will be using is completely safe. Also, you know, your family could run into some real-life problems right here at home, get my drift. Now, my dear, how do you know that? It won't kill the boy to try. At least let him have that. We are not lying. Listen, I'm a trucker myself, you know. I'll look after your kid. Everything will be okay. Now, that's not good. Also, firstly, we are not lying. Like, as a principle. I mean, there might be exceptions, but not here. Um, but it's not even a real lie, because we are sort of a trucker. We were driving around with our car. And also, we were sitting inside of a truck for quite a while when we were driving to this mountain pass of Wu's, right? But for that, you know, you need to watch Atom RPG. So, which you can find 
a link to under this video. Speechcraft. My dear, how do you know that? It won't kill the boy to try. At least let him have that. Oh, you're telling me that despite Slava's lack of physical or mental prowess, despite having zero life experience, he won't die at such a demanding job? Okay, supposing he succeeds. What then? He'll put his pedal to the metal and leave me. What reason will he will I have to live after he disappears from my life forever? Now come on. What does this have to do with you? I thought we were talking about your son's well-being. And besides, he will visit you anyway. Uh, tears start flowing freely from the woman's eyes, but she wipes them away and answers in a menacingly loud whisper. Right, who cares about my future? Yes, why not force me to live through my husband's betrayal once again? He ran out on us, you know. All I've wanted since was to never be alone again. Is that so reprehensible? Well, yes it is, because it will cost your son his life. Easy does it, I don't care about your family business. Nope, I'm not ready to condemn you. No, actually yes, because it will cost your son his life. And you know, like being a family mediator, there's always compromise. And he can always come home after his, uh, you know, he won't, will not let, let you all alone. He's coming back home, but you know, it's just normal that, that you don't see each other in a while here and there. Yeah, and like if it's, if it's his dream, just think about it. It will make him so happy. Yeah, so happy and it's also an interesting job. Slava's mother trembles like a cornered animal. Her gaze darts manically from wall to wall as if looking for an escape route. Finding none, she grimaces and in a barely audible voice agrees. Ah, fine, fine, fine. I'm a terrible mother. I'm the worst. I'm a monster. I don't know anything about life or my own son. I'm messing up his future. I dare dream of not dying alone. How selfish, right? Go tell him I won't stop him from leaving. Tell him to try that idiotic profession for himself. That moronic toy car game. I can see on one only result for this, but fine. Go on and tell him. I don't want his death warrant to come from my lips, so I'll let you be the ex executioner. See, that wasn't so hard, was it? I'll go deliver the good news. She's really toxic. But that's like a, a very nice example how some people manipulate others. And it's all her selfishness here, by the way. I mean, okay, I guess there was some sincere fear for him. And like, I mean, of course, th she was traumatized, so we shouldn't be too hard on her. Like, she lost her husband. Um, although maybe like if she was as toxic to the guy, and we can imagine that she was, then there, you know, she literally forced him to bail on her. But that guy was, of course, also not a good guy, because he left his son. So Slava. The thin young man in horn-rimmed glasses looks our way, but without making eye contact. Oh, you love visiting our place, huh? Or did something happen? Yeah, regarding my talk with your mother, you know. I hope you didn't tell her anything. No, I told, in, uh, on the contrary, I told her everything and she's granted you her permission to go. Like, he was right beside, but well. Uh, are you serious, Mama? It's all true. Do you do what you want? Go ahead and spit on me on our family. I will cope somehow if this job is so important to you. Mama, I won't go if you don't want me to. Just give me a straight answer. You wouldn't like the truthful answer, so do what you want. Drive your damn trucks. Thank you. Thank you all. Oh, except Mikhail Semyonovich has probably forgotten about me by now. The position he offered is likely already taken. Could you please talk to him about me? He lives with a parking lot guard when he's in the city. Find him, please. I give you my fir first paycheck. What do you say? Oh, dang. Well, why not? Stay here. I'll be back. Yeah. Okay, I'll see what I can do. But we can we change the subject for the time being? No, actually, oh, dang. Well, why not? Stay here. I'll be back. Actually, I think we should be more enthusiastic. Because the first paycheck, that sounds like good money here. And, well, we are actually literally a hobo, yeah, an unemployed hobo who's literally robbing people. Oh, my goodness. Oh, hey, we don't take kindly to thieves around these parts. Oh, sorry, like my hand slipped in there. Did we get it?
Well, we had. Did we have one magnifying glass before? No, we didn't get it. Okay, well. Like, okay, I mean, it's it's probably super hard to sneak in here while she is looking at us. But uh, like here, yeah, our stealth is at 150. Okay, well, we're not really a master of stealth. Uh, maybe maybe we can come back at some point. Yeah, so let's get out of here. Okay, then. All right, and then this one. Well, but that was nice. So we, then we need to. Oh well, actually, let's do this one by one. Let's before we forget anything. And the parking lot. So that's there. Yeah, let's run over there. Let's do one thing after another. Before. Before we uh, forget stuff. Uh, oh, that's the oh, 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 like here, right? The Trulograd outskirts there. There I am. Oh! Passing a group of unhinged drug addicts, we sneak a look back over shoulder. And good thing the greedy schmeckers are following us in the vile hope of robbing us blind. Or oh, the guy with the bear tank top. They're all a little bit skinny and messed up. Oh, he's got a brick. Or she, rather. That's a she. And that guy, like, what is that? He's got a, like, like a, an iron, a piece of iron. And that guy has a... Oh, he's got a pan and a broken bottle. Well. Well, we are defending ourselves here, of course. So there. Um time to beat someone up like oh it's a whole group oh, oh 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 let's start shooting yeah there yeah and he had a gun so and that's well I already so feel a little bit sorry for them and by the way like maybe we should not shoot our weapon like that 14 so they actually so is that let's go here I, like the, she has probably like can we actually look at her no um she's got probably also like something around eight or ten uh, movement points so then one two three four five six seven eight nine Let's go here. Yeah, I don't feel we should waste our ammo on these guys. Which might be a grave error. But it's four people. Oh no, there's a fifth one. Oh, and this guy has the knife. Okay. Well. But they smelled some, uh, something on us. Or they just saw our little duffel bag here. Ending the turn. The guy is coming. Also, he's got a no. That's that's a sheaf, huh? Well, I I don't feel so good about sh messing up a lady, but uh, well, yeah, we can actually we do one aimed attack into the eyes. That's 80 or 85 in the head. I like that how they changed this one here. Let's hit the head. 23. Uh -huh. Bam. And the third one. Oh, wow. Oi, oi, oi. Not bad. That was a nice finisher there. Although our armor is kind of not in the right place right now. Like with all, with all the excitement here. Let's go there. I wonder if there's some, this thing like Oi! Oh! For being attacked from behind. Weapon broken. Uh huh. Uh, okay, well. Is there actually like. I mean, okay, we are winning this. Yeah. Let's make. Let's do this one here. Let's attack the guy with the, with the knife. That one also has a knife. 
the guy with the beard looks toughest, so let's take him first. In the eyes. Oh yeah, yeah, nice crit. Wow, and in the neck. I like that. They've done that very nicely. That's a huge improvement to Edge RPG. That's so cool. Nice crit there. Well, and how about another one in the eyes? Okay, and then the regular. Okay. Yeah, that's like a huge brawl here. Oh, the guy uses something. Oh, he had he had uh, an injection or something. Oh, ay ay ay. I think we've got another navel or something. So, but now now you are done. Well, he used it on the other. What? Well, how 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 did we drop a weapon? Oh, it's our ability, I guess. Huh? Like, can we can we take it? Like that? Well. We know that something bad can happen, right? With uh, due to our stuff. Oh no, they are they are beating us up here. Oh, he's also using using up what I wanted to have as loot. Okay, well, but now we are we are messing you up here. In the eyes for 79. Oh yeah, something is happening. Not sure what, but now we are doing less damage here. But it's uh, yeah, seven. Nice. Nice. I like the finishers. They're super cool. And this guy. Uh, regular attack. There. Seventeen. Yeah. What doesn't kill us just makes us stronger, right? And the pain shows us that we are alive. That's it. The eyes, Eddie. Oh crap! Oh well. Claw knuckle duster there. That's super cool. I like that. I really like that. And the eyes, 80%. Oh yeah, nice. That's another crit. There you go. So we just mess up one, two, three, four, five, six guys. That's good. That's how I like it. All right. So let's see what they have. The knit cap, popular all over the world, the knit cap has been called by a multitude of different names. It is especially loved by robbers and spies, since it can also be used as an improvised mask. Yeah. Okay. And he's got some devil's weed. This is not the weed wastelanders like to grow on our powerful lamps. This grass was harvested by the white-haired old man of the Chuiska Valley under a hot summer sun. And they all have their spoon. A personal spoon. Oh yeah, good. There's a stimulant here. We've got another knife and a zip gun. Very nice. Oh, another zip gun. They never shot at us with it. So I guess they were out of ammo or something. Oh, she's got a toadstool, a regular toadstool. The only odd thing about it is that before the war there were no mushrooms in this area. Well, and then this guy. I think it was a good thing to shoot at this guy, a double barrel shotgun. Looks like a piece of junk, but who cares about that when it can blow up skulls like ripe watermelons. Yeah. So, well, and you know me, I am rather the person who tries to save stuff, but I feel like actually, by the way, do we, uh, we don't have any, any ammo in it, huh? There's only one ammo round. Okay, like what was it again? That's the weapons. The doll. Like the regular shots, ammo here. I are here. We don't have any gunpowder or black powder. Ah yeah, okay. Well, then we just keep this one here with one shot, I guess. That might scare someone off as well. Mm. Yeah, that's that. So, and we were, we are actually a bit messed up here. 
but I feel that that was actually oh it's a hop hat a mad woman junkie schmecker hop hat okay so I have to say that's super cool so as you know if you watched the atom RPG let's plan I recommend that very very strongly let's check out if there's anything here by the way oh yeah there's a burn barrel let's warm up a little bit um, that I really enjoyed Atom RPG and I feel that this is looking way way better even that's like really I've see I'm seeing so many improvements that's like really nice it's really nice really good to see I really like the you know the hard blood that's that put into this one here it's really nice very good very good game so far Worthy of being uh, played here on playing hardball, but there's nothing here. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Well, then can't see anything. I'm also activating the. Whatever this is, like the highlighting function. We actually go here. Yeah. So there and it's some something here. Broken down Jeep, by the way, do we have uh, when poisoning a state one gets as a result of contacting toxic substances at high volumes can inflict negative effects of death and death. Oh I guess the sheath and the knives they were dirtier. That's also super cool. Yep, the rusty knife. I like that, actually. I really like that. So I guess... Yeah, do we have some water? By the way, we need to... Yeah, I mean, after one minute. Let's not waste it. I really like that. Okay, then. So, but, however, looking at the time, I think it is also time let us let's wait here at the barrel it's also time to end the episode um, or let's let's yeah let's run very quickly I hope there's not another battle and um, let's go to the guy in the outskirts that's what that's what we wanted to do anyway I hear so there we go entering and then we can also sell the stuff and by the way crap what time is it? 15.47. So we were attacked in the middle of the day. So let's run over there. Uh, we are not talking with the woman yet. And also, or maybe let's actually, let's eat something here. Just very quickly. So there. Let's roast some meat. Good portion of roasted meat can restore your invaluable health. Let's cook it. Very good. 12 experience points. Well, it's no secret that roasted meat tastes much better than the canned one, not to mention raw meat. You lick your fingers after the meal, feeling that your life force are returning to you. You also gain a little bit of that culinary experience. Very good. And now we have zero hunger. Very good. Oh, but poisoning increased somewhat. So let's get go very quickly. Like, where was the... Does it say here on the minimap? Um, ah, here, there. So, very quickly here. Ah, but yeah. So, but what happens there, we will see in the next episode when we talk with the guy who is Kostya Spanev. Who's, who was offering the job actually like maybe here inside of this building huh? yeah he was living there so I guess oh, but maybe the guard knows it I don't know but we'll find out so many thanks for watching we got some new weapons and I think that gives us some merchandise as well so we can finally sell something and make some money out of that or off of that so I hope you enjoyed this one I have to say I'm very very positively surprised uh, about the fighting and the battle that was pretty cool like with these finishers and so on so that's like visually that's way more rewarding now 
yeah and i'm excited what comes next so many thanks for watching i hope you enjoyed it if you did please do click the like button if you didn't don't hesitate to click the dislike but i would appreciate it if you explain what you did not like in the comment section and otherwise uh, you know you're always encouraged and very very welcome to share your thoughts feelings tips and tricks or anything else that's on your mind in the comment section as always and many thanks for that see you then in the next episode bye bye